Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another little kind of fun, top-down, chaotic type video coming up. I am going to try water marbling for the first time ever in my life, not just on camera, but just ever in my life. And um, let's do this. I don't know, I had to go give blood today, so I got off of work early and I was like, well, I have some time, let's do something stupid. And here we are. So I'm kind of like winging it. I, um, I I have a vague idea of how this goes. I've watched a lot of videos. I've read a lot of like blog posts and stuff like that. But it's the second I sat down, you know, when you, you study really hard for a test and you think you know everything and then you sit down and your mind goes blank. That is where I am at. And I got to say, like, I feel like this is going to be really easy in theory because it looks really easy. Like it, it looks like everyone's having a really easy time. I have a lot of, you know, false confidence going into this because I get sucked into those weird, like, videos of people hydro dipping, like, helmets and, you know, body prosthetics and stuff like that. So I just, I feel like I can do this way more than I probably actually can. So let's get our supplies first. The first thing that I have is this cup that I may or may not have appropriated for my office. Um, obviously, I have water for the cup that I put in a separate cup. I don't know why, don't ask me. Um, I know that it gets pretty messy and I can't use liquid latex. And so I have these little like manicure, I don't know, apron type, they go around your, they're like a sticker that goes around your nail and then it only your nail is exposed. And I have a bunch of like super bright neon ones, but they're gonna throw off the camera balance. And I got these from, I think a maniology box, so we'll bust these out. And then of course we need nail polish. And I just figured, you know, I've read that there are polishes that work better than others. I didn't look too heavily into that. I figured let's just go with my gut. And um, as far as color schemes go, rainbow just seems like the easy cop out. So I grabbed all the Orly Lisa Frank like neon polishes here and we can use those. And then I also have white because I'm going to like paint a base of white so that these pop a little bit more and then I brought out the Lisa Frank like kind of scattered hollow top coat just to see I don't know if I'll use it we'll we'll see on that and then of course you need a base and a top coat these are my favorites this is Orly Bonder for the base and then this is Glisten and Glow top coat this is a really quick drying top coat I love this and I love this base I actually decided to be adventurous and use a different one the other day. I used the Zoya Naked Base and my manicure chipped in a day. I was like, well, rude, first of all. So we will not be using that. We'll be using the Orly Bonder Base. And then of course you need these like sticks. You can use a toothpick. You can use any kind of stick-like item, I guess. But these help to drag the designs in the water marble and you know, like clean up the water when you're done. So I pulled out a couple, but I have a bunch sitting in front of me. I have a napkin, I guess, for messes. I don't know. And then I have my cleanup brush and acetone and things like that. So just all the basics for a manicure. So now that you see what I have, I guess we can get started. Let me organize first because this is going to be chaotic if I don't. Okay, so I just went ahead and like painted these and cleaned them up off of camera. I am only doing one hand for now because I just have a feeling this is not going to go as planned and it's going to get really messy. So if I just focus on the one hand and kind of focus on technique, maybe things will go a little bit better. We'll see. But this is just two coats of the Halo Taco, not milky white. It's an okay white. I'm sure there are better ones out there. This one bubbles up a lot on me, so I have to be really careful. It doesn't matter the temperature or whatever. It just seems to bubble a lot and I'm, I just hate looking at my nails. These look like teeth nails. Bah, 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 bah. So don't love that, but we're going to cover that up in a second. And then on a completely unrelated to everything going on in this video note, I just wanted you guys to know that um, I love this kombucha, but if you love A1 steak sauce, you're going to love this because this tastes like carbonated A1 steak sauce. So if you're into that, I would recommend that kombucha. I got it at Costco and by me, I mean my boyfriend. So let's go. I'm probably going to have to refocus this but let's um let's pour the water in the, from the separate cup so there's like debate on what type of water you should use i've seen people say like you should use filtered water 
You should use room temperature, water, blah, blah, blah. Um, water is water. I don't know. I don't know anything about water. So I'm using room temperature water from my sink because I like sink water. Okay, I tried to set the focus. So let's see. I guess now what we do is you just start dripping colors. And I guess it would probably help if I just pre-opened all of them. And we're just going to go in rainbow order. I think... Are you supposed to put like white on the outside? I have no idea. But uh, yeah, these are from the Orly Lisa Frank collection. I did do a review of these um, not too long ago. I mean, I, well, was it like last summer? I guess it was kind of like a year ago. Um, and I actually, I did a giveaway. I need to do another giveaway on my channel. I've only done the one. So let's see how this looks. Okay, weird. Why did I close it? I don't need that anymore. Okay. Okay, this is f more fun than it should be already. I don't know how many drops I'm supposed to do. So this is all just a huge guess. And if you guys are watching this and you're like screaming at me because you know there's like a thousand better ways to do this, feel free to drop a comment. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me <laughs> all of your tips. I would definitely appreciate it. I love your guys' feedback. It definitely helps me a ton on this channel to improve and just show you guys the things you want to see. Okay, this is... I don't even care about like the actual nail art. I just like dripping the paint in. It looks fun. My dad's probably going to watch us and be like, what the hell are you doing, Hillary? <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes he will text me about the nail polish I talk about on my channel. I love it. Um, I don't know. Am I supposed to fill it all the way to the middle? I guess let's do one more round of drops because I have no idea what I'm doing. I like these colors together though. I mean, I guess it's hard to screw up a rainbow, right? Oh no, it's just making it bigger. So maybe I should just call this round the last one. Oh, that was weird that it just sat right on the top of the water like that. Green. And then blue and finally the last drop of purple okay this is the part where I feel like I'm gonna screw up this is where we're supposed to I think you're supposed to let it dry a little bit on the top first and then you take your stick and you just kind of make a design I guess oh shoot I didn't put the nail things on <sighs> um, I don't know. Let's try. Let's see if I can put one of these nail apron guys on before. I don't know. Is it, can it get too dry? I'm sure it probably can. Okay. Let's make an attempt. These are hard to like put on well because they're like just a little bit. Here, let me come on the camera. They're just... Oh, I've already messed it up. They're just a little bit narrow for my nails. I think you're supposed to be able to stretch them. You can't even see it, so... Okay, we got one on. We'll see. Let's see what we can do. Okay, well, the idea was there. And then I'm just going to wipe off my stick in between each pull and see if okay we've already messed it up I think we let it get too dry oh no <laughs> okay you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna dip it and let's see how we did Okay, there's a bubble there for sure. Ah! <laughs> it 
looks kind of funny though. All right, all right. Not not the worst, not the worst. Okay, but it is like literally everywhere. So this is definitely a messy. Oh, and I got it on my other finger here. Okay, though, like, all right, I took the apron off, obviously got some cleanup, but aside from that little purple drop in the middle, which I bet I can fix, let's see what we can do. Let's see. Let me take some of this. Yeah, see? Now no, you could never tell. Okay. That actually, for my first time, I feel like went sort of okay so let's see if maybe we can put the aprons on the rest of my fingers and do this the right way okay so i got these guys on the rest of my fingers and i guess we just start over and i guess i should probably just be oh extra sure all this stuff is out of the main water. And let's try again. Oops, that one went too far. I guess you gotta be careful how hard you drop the droplet in. Well, see, now they're not expanding like they were before. So something is not right. Well, it couldn't be as successful as I had hoped, I guess. Why aren't they pushing out? It's weird when it sits on the top. Um, well, that's weird. I guess let's try it one more time. Yeah, see, now we've got this weird effect. It's kind of cool, though, like, not gonna lie. I think it's to do with my water. But I'm not too mad about it, because it looks fun. Oh, man, what's going on there? <laughs> hmm... Well, I'm just going to keep going like it's not happening. And then somebody in the comments can tell me just exactly what the heck is going on. Okay, that's actually so cool looking up here that I might just dip into that without goofing around with it too much. See, this is the part that's hard. It's like, how do I angle my hand to not mess up? But so that you got, yeah, you guys can't even see me trying to dip it. Let me try. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. And then you want to clean up around the nail so you don't mess it up as it comes up. Oh, I think I hit it with something. That's an interesting effect, though. <laughs> All right, so the first one went well. The second one went weird. Third time's the charm, right? I think there's, like, a lot of, like, excess, just barely visible polish on the surface, and that's why it did that weird breakup thing. So let me see. I used to watch, um... There was a channel called Oh My Gosh Polish, I think it was called. I believe the woman was Australian, and uh, she used to water marble, like, with such ease that I was pretty jealous. I wish that I was that skilled. And then she stopped posting for a while, and then I think she came back as, like, talk to the hand polish, and she started selling nail polish, but then I just haven't really seen too much sense. Okay, I think, I think I got most of it. Let's see, the first drop will tell us. Okay, let's see. 
I think that's okay. There we go. Maybe not. Close enough. Well, I guess since I have you guys here, I can just talk to you about other stuff. Um, so I've been obsessed with this show called Our Flag Means Death. And I have watched the entire series twice now in a week's time. It's, um, it's about Steed Bonnet. And if you don't know who that guy is, he's referred to, I guess, as the gentleman pirate. And he's a guy from Barbados who he was like a wealthy man who just decided to abandon his wealth for a life of piracy. And he's actually real. Like, this is a real guy. And I knew about him prior to this show and the show came out and it's uh it's got a guy the the guy who plays steve bonnet is an actor that i really like who was in flight of the concords and um he's from new zealand and it's just like a, a fictional rom-com um and it's like it's it's really funny like i said i've watched it twice now i watched it once through by myself and then i had my boyfriend watch it through with me because Oh, he, he knows a little bit about Steve Bonnet, and I just figured if you guys like comedies, if you like rom-coms, um, definitely check it out. It's on the HBO app. I don't think I've really been watching. Am I doing too many drips? Probably. I don't think I've really watched too much else. I just, I'm not usually a big TV person because I get so sucked in. And then I have to, like, watch every episode. And I get, like, uh-oh. Oh, that was weird. I get, like, kind of obsessed with anything I'm doing at any given time. And my brain has only so much room for so many, like, hyper fixations that I try to avoid too many if I can. And purple. And let's see if we can stick it out. Okay. Okay. Well, I just, I don't know. I see, I see other people pulling in. Why can't I pull in? Why can I only seem to pull it out from the center? What am I doing wrong with that? That seems to be, ah, no. Okay, well, we've lost it, so we gotta hurry. Okay, angles is probably the hardest part about this, is just keeping the angle right. Yo, looks pretty good, I guess. Uh, it's The first one is definitely the best one, I think, but I'm kind of vaguely learning, right? Ew. It gets like, there's so much on the stick, it just looks disgusting. Alright, let's see if we can't peel that off all right the middle one <laughs> looks wild it looks kind of like um a butterfly wing i guess but the other two look pretty cool i think i'm not doing too bad you guys considering i have never done this before in my life um if you follow me on instagram you may have seen me mention there's another Hillary out there. Her name is Happy Hillary's Nails. And she kind of gave me just a couple tips. I went and visited her uh, because she's actually, she's another Hillary. She's from Michigan. She lives like 40 minutes from me. And she is a actual nail tech. She, like she's licensed and everything. And so I went over there and we made um, a polish together, which I'm going to show you guys soon on Instagram. Um, but Definitely go follow her. I'll put her at at the bottom. Um, she she can do nail art like quite well, and she posts I think every single day. So if you guys are hurting for nail art content, definitely go check her out. But yeah, like I said, she gave me like some tips on uh, water marbling. Just to, like she said, like use a wide cup, and she said. She starts with white. I'm pretty sure she said that. That's why I started 
with white, even though I have no idea if I'm supposed to. <laughs> um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun over at her place. We just made nail polish for like two hours. Okay. What else have I been doing? I've been reading a lot of books lately. I I have read every single book in my like ownership. And every time I read a book, I give it away because I don't have a ton of space for books. I only have space for nail polish. Um, but no, I'm not somebody who often rereads books. And so I don't really see the point in hanging on to them. The only book that I have a copy of still is uh, Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five because um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen my tattoo. That's a way too close up. It says, so it goes. That's a line from the book. It was my favorite book in high school, which it was like every teenager's favorite book in high school. I'm not special, but I got that as my first tattoo and it looks like trash, but I really like that line, and so I keep that book. But I get rid of the rest of my books. I usually give them to my sister or my dad or sometimes my little brother, depending on, like, the subject matter. And um, I just totally miss the center with that orange. <laughs> and then sometimes I go to the library as well because the books there are free. So, but I have, I found out you can borrow books from the library onto your Kindle and so that's what I've been doing. I've been reading just a bunch of really crappy thriller novels. I like thrillers because they're like easy to get through quickly. Um, but most of the ones I've been reading lately just are bad. So if you guys have any good book recommendations, I would appreciate it. All right. Let's see. I just feel like this this is the part that I thought would be the easiest. And it's actually the hardest for me, oh no, is like the pulling the design out. Cause I've seen people do like cool, like zigzag designs and I can't do it. That looks kind of cool though. Maybe I just have to be a little bit slower. Maybe I'm going too fast. Cause it seems like going slower is what's working for me. There we go, I got kind of like a squared off Sort of flower petal type thing. Okay, let's do that on my thumb, I guess. And then we'll do the pinky last for some reason. Okay. Oh no, I spilled water. Let's get this clear space for the thumb. Hey, look at that. I think I actually did it. <laughs> like, for real, for real, I I did a good one. And look at how gross this looks. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Okay, this is really just messy. I don't think this is, it's, it's a little bit difficult, but like, I think that it's not as tough as I had thought. I think we've all, oh no. <laughs> Oh man, so it was almost perfect until I put the thingy, the this guy, too close to onto the polish. Also, living for this, um, but I just feel like we've all like turned this sort of nail art into this super scary monster, but it's really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I feel like kind of bad because I thought this was gonna be like more of a fun video, but it's not that interesting. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, let's see if I can get all this gross polish out. Maybe this is, maybe, maybe people were right. Maybe the type of water does matter and maybe I should have used unfiltered. And if I have to go buy a Brita in order to do this, I guess that's what I'll do or use filtered. Did I say unfiltered? What the heck? This is unfiltered water. Um, so yeah, there's like a lot of like stragglers. That's the hard part. Okay, I guess we're gonna do the pinky now. And then I guess that's sort of it. Um, this counts as one of my nail arts for the month of April, by the way. So I said it, that's what it's gonna be. 
I think that looks okay. I always thought hydro, dip, hydro dipping was really cool. It's just like, how do you, how do you get good at this? Like, I guess you just do it over and over all day. Let me know if there's any other types of nail art you guys want to see me attempt to do. Because honestly, there's not a lot of nail art that I've really done in my life aside from just really basic stamping. So if there's something you want to see like more chatty type videos like this or like just me, I don't know, just painting my nails and talking about a topic, we can do that too. It doesn't matter to me. I like putting out videos in general and so of course I want to put out stuff you guys want to see. I have plenty of ideas to work with but I also like to hear from you guys. I wonder how much nail polish I have wasted with this. <laughs> That's the thing with like nail art like this and um, like stamping and stuff. It just feels like you have to waste a lot of polish to get the design you want and it's I get it like you know you gotta suffer for art or whatever but I don't like feeling wasteful and I hope my boyfriend doesn't watch this because he just got on my case about how many boxes <laughs> I accumulate from online orders. So he was like taking out all the trash because I don't take the trash out. And um, he was like, don't you ever talk to me about being environmentally conscious ever again. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, Hillary, there's like 40 boxes here. I said, well, there wouldn't be that many if you just take them out sooner. <laughs> so that's your fault. But it's actually my fault. I should not order so much stuff. But it's so convenient. I like to order things online. Because when it arrives at your place, it feels like a Christmas gift. You're like, oh, I forgot that I ordered this. And yeah. Okay, this is the final one. This is the pinky nail. And um... Let's see, my stick is really disgusting. I don't know if this is gonna work very well. Let's see. It's been so nice out, you guys. I think I'm gonna go for a walk after this. I already went for a walk once today, but just in a walk-in mood. Let's see. I don't know what I was doing with that, but let's keep it going. And let's just put that on the pinky, because why the heck not? Oh no. I am right-handed, not left-handed. So this is very awkward for me. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, I guess we don't really need this water anymore. Um, okay, I just had a bad thought. What am I supposed to do with this water? It's got nail polish in it. You can't just pour that down the sink, can you? I don't know, I don't like that. I'm feeling, and I can't just go dump it outside because there's birds and stuff out there and bugs that I don't want to kill. Oh man, great, now I have to drink this water. <laughs> No, I'm not going to drink this water. Um, let's just go put that over there for now. And let's try. Okay, so I zoomed it all in. Let's take this last thingy off. If I can sort out this mess that I've made off screen. Let's see here. All right. Oh my goodness. These are annoying. All right, I think that one is actually kind of good. Um, here's the thing. It's like the colors on my pointer finger and my ring finger look pretty similar. But then I feel like on my pinky and my thumb, I've kind of muddied them in a similar way. And then the middle finger is just like, what the heck happened with that? I don't know. That was a weird one. I'm glad I did it, but it's a weird one. Um... Let's see, can you guys see that? I've got rainbows everywhere. I look like a clown right now. So let me see if I can clean this up and then we can do like a final look over. 
Well, guys, I totally dropped the ball and somehow did not hit record <laughs> on my final little talk through. But here are the pictures of the water marble. Basically, what I've learned during this um, first attempt is don't stick the stickers onto the nail polish on your nail. That's a, that's a big no-no. And just go a little slower with dragging the stick through the polish so that you can get those kind of fully bloomed designs like you can see on my thumb here. If you guys have any other tips or suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. Please feel free to tell me what I did wrong. I love knowing all the things I did wrong. I do a lot of things wrong every single day. I love it when people tell me, hey, Hillary, do this right because I want to do things right. So just let me know about that. And also let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video. Maybe you want something a little bit more structured, like a selected topic or something we can chat about while I'm doing my nails or doing nail art. Let me know that as well. I really like filming these like kind of chattier videos while I'm doing my nails. And if you guys enjoy them too, I would love to make more. But if not, no worries. It's no big deal. But that is going to be it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.